tonight with opening statements in the highly anticipated trial for the 2017 shooting death of five-year-old Kaysen Guyton. 17's Michaela Armstrong was in the courtroom and joins us in studio with more details on the long-awaited trial. Michaela. Rob, seven years after the tragic death of five-year-old Kaysen Guyton, prosecutors say his brutal killing was the result of a disagreement between rival gangs hours before. Years of evidence presented in court detailing all the prosecution found to implicate 35-year-old Jonathan Knight as the shooter who killed 5-year-old Kaysen Guyton and shot his 7-year-old brother, Brian Guyton Jr., in the leg. The shooting took place in January 2017, but prosecutor Eric Smith says it stemmed from an earlier altercation at the Valley Plaza Mall between rival gang members of the West Side Crips and East Side Crips. Knight and co-defendant Jeremy King who pleaded guilty earlier this month to voluntary manslaughter and is expected to testify are both West Side Crips. According to Smith, hours after the altercation, Knight and King drove a vehicle that followed the vehicle in which Kaysen was in and Knight fired 16 shots from the passenger side. Jonathan Knight is guilty of the murder of Kaysen Guyton. Murder of a five-year-old. Murder based on a disagreement that happened at a mall that led to the death of a five-year-old. Smith says King, the driver, and Knight, the shooter, intended to shoot the driver of the other vehicle, which was the boyfriend of the boy's mother, a member of the Eastside Crips. He was uninjured. Images, wiretaps, and videos shown to jurors depicted Knight's gang activity and behavior before the shooting. The footage of a shooting Smith says Knight was a part of two years after killing Kaysen was one of the most jarring. Jonathan Knight was at this location as well. Reminding the jury of the several shots the night of the shooting that killed Kaysen, or surveillance footage depicted King hiding the gun Knight allegedly used during the shooting in a trash can the next day. King will take the stand to tell his side, and the defense said this is King's way of pinning the shooting on Knight. It's Mr. King's car. It's Mr. King's gun. It's Mr. King's beef. You saw that presentation. It is mostly about what they know about King. But if he puts Knight in that car, he goes home. Both King and Knight know what happened the night of the shooting. With King taking the stand, his recount could be some of the most critical testimony in the trial. Knight is charged with first degree murder and numerous other charges and faces life in prison. We'll have more updates from the trial as it continues. Michaela Armstrong, 17 News.